गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इज अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड यू सी हियर थ्री इयर्स ओल्ड चाइल्ड वेयर वी आर प्लानिंग लेफ्ट आर आई आर एस एंड राइट ली राइट री लुक इफ यू सी हियर मीटी किडनी नॉट मच हाइड्रोनेफ्रोसिस मिनिमल हाइड्रोनेफ्रोसिस विथ ए अपर यूरेट्रिक स्टोन ऑन द राइट साइड अपर यूट्रिक एंड लेफ्ट साइड स्मॉल इंफीरियर कैलिशियल स्टोन सो राइट साइड यू आर एस एल आर आई आर एस डन आफ्टर स्टेंटिंग नाउ लेफ्ट साइड आर आई आर एस इज प्लैंड एंड राइट साइड रीलुक जेंटली इज प्लैंड सो कैन यू गिव द रिकन्स्ट्रक्टेड इमेज वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बेटर नाउ दिस इज दि दिस इज दि पिक्चर वेर राइट साइड Uh, the stone is uh, seen like this approximately 1 cm removed and left side you can see the inferior calicial stone this case is done with the huge made uh, smallest uh, uh, digital flexible scope 7.5 french which goes through the 9.5 by 11.5 axe sheath cook so this uh, uh, we will see how the flexion how the uh, the flexion with the laser fiber will happen dilatation of urethra in female if you put uh, the jelly it looks black that helps you to gently dilate the urethra it curves down it curves down and then go up enough well friend the the first step of uh, any rirs surgery is urethroscopy open the labia dilated part you insert don't see there flush water and then go under vision like this so that it will not this case we are doing left side stent removal the stent removal is done with uh, uh, the urethroscope and after that we will pass again the see there urethric orifice see there urethric orifice and you go inside see whether ureter is dilated up to as high as possible as high as possible as high as possible like this so you are almost into the upper calyx this is lateral calyx this is pelvis now in the access sheet in children first you pass the guide wire here there is no need to use cm under urethroscopy you are directly passing the guide wire into the into the pelvis now one person will hold the guide wire here yes insertion of the axis sheath don't apply jelly this is 9.5 by 11.5 which is smallest access sheath and 28 cm length because this will go back and it can traumatize here lock it and observe keep on observing this the guide wire will come like this you will hold keep the thing start and short period of cm will be used very short burst now if you are doing on the left side stand on the right side gently you insert cm उटसाइड Uh, 28 cm. You ask from cook. We can take 16 cm also. Unnecessary, na? It is. Now this is the huge made new flexible urethroscopy released in the month of May 2022. This is the smallest scope like cushion, which is uh, uh, 7.5 cm, which go through the 9.5 axis sheath. This movements you can observe here. This is the movements. this is a digital scope very light weight you can see how the monitor is connected here that is the monitor throw monitor it is connected to there and here you can do the white balance here see the white balancing is done after the white balancing you pass the scope with water on 
now you can see the vision there you can see the vision there this is the access sheet nicely going beautiful vision is present see the nice enlarged view you are going into the upper upper uh, this thing gentle flush of the water please gentle flush of the water and see the upper view and then you are coming you are not using siam then you are using the lateral view you see the movements of my scope this is the upper fr front and back then turn this side to see the three o'clock turn this side towards my right chest and you can see a uh, down then you have to keep down for any stone see this is a small stone which is present this is a small stone we can basket this is another stone we can see the stone here glistening this is the most inferior calyx and this is the uh, the uh, pelvis so now i will inject a uh, little uh, siam now you see the siam picture how it is bent we can see see that is a stone that is a picture now we will take with the basket and take it out now we are passing open it you show this encircle basket this has a circle which four four wires and it closes like this yes so now i am passing this 2.2 french it is going easily or not we have to see in this it is going the tip is very uh, uh, from, uh, soft so insertion will be difficult this type of guide wires you pass it the guide wire will come at the tip because this is bent you have to straighten it then the guide wire uh, the so see it is passed see like that flush water samshna yeah. see this is the you withdraw that withdraw that it was not under vision withdraw that this is the way you have to keep the this thing now you flex it with guide wire also movement is there it is see now i am lifting see the cm lift how it is lifted cm 1 2 Three continue CM continue see like this it is lifted passive flexion then the stone has come into the in front of you here in front of you now open open see how it is open now open and catch it see yes caught it CM yes now CM CM continue CM continue see see the here upper calyx we can keep. Upper calyx, we will keep it. This is upper calyx. See, I am also release it, release it, release it. See, I am then here it is released. Now that's all. And one more stone is there, small. That also you hold slowly. This is very small stone. See, I am as well as this. More see, I am picture. Less, uh, yes. Slowly you hold. This is a very small stone, but better to remove and send for the analysis. this looks calcium oxalate dihydrate so we are coming out we are coming out and taking out here and this small piece has come here now again now uh, the we can remove the we can remove the basket and use the laser fiber we are using the laser fiber the we are using the laser laser fiber with the uh, 150 thulium fiber laser This is a 150 micron thulium fiber laser. First time used in India last month. We have used in the conference A E Ahmedabad. After that, we have taken it and we are using it. This is the smallest scope, digital flexible scope. This is a small child, and we are using thulium fiber laser with low settings. So see how the laser fiber has come here in a uh, uh, this thing. So with this laser fiber, whether it can bend or not, we will show. See here. See here. See here in the in situ. I might have done it. See here. In situ, I might have done it. See how. See, see in situ, I might have done with this laser fiber. That was not required anyway. I have placed into the upper calyx. Now we will do the directly upper calyx, and this is the powder. We will do it. Nice powder. We will do at the end. We will take out one fragment. Uh, Eight one one. Six one. Six one. Right side. So ready. Ready, sir. Ready. Start. Water flush, please. Little yeah. bit. Water, whether it is coming out or not, you have to see. Sister, see this here. Sister, holding gently. You should not push in. You should not push out. This. 
this person is very important now you see so now a uh, water flow you see it should be coming like this and surgeon will hold with these two fingers like this and then show there show there the powdering see the vision it is a the, uh, the large and large room vision this is a disposable scope with unlimited time but how to sterilize we are in the process of uh, evaluating we are planning to sterilize through this steroid and let us see how many times it can be used but as of now the vision is very good and flexibility is also okay this is a fine dusting method with thorium fiber laser plus ramstone it will be yes See constantly at low, low, low laser. We are doing powdering. It will not take much time. Too much finer details are also seen. We can use the popcorn, but small stones better not to use the. The flexion is a little. Uh, Uh, not uh, 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 fine, but uh, extension appears to be very good. You can you can push the stone and bring it to your friend. Go nearer to the stone. This is the basket. Be ready. You will take out with basket these two pieces. Okay. Otherwise, those pieces will not be. Uh, we cannot get now i am taking out this uh, this thing uh, dakota basket this is the dakota basket where it is like tripron without sharp edges close like this open like this now i am passing the dakota basket which is 1.9 french stiff basket very useful for holding urotic injuries are unlikely now this is the way you bring up to here and now you can because it's a dilated ureter See, it holds like this. You can the the person has to adjust. See, like this will hold. Hold the hold the access sheet carefully. See, it is coming like this. See, it's coming. This is the piece which we will send for the which we will send for the. See, this is a small piece. That piece will be sent for the analysis. Take no no don't with forceps. You take and put that also you show. You hold it. This is a small piece which is there. Hold it. See so that uh, some other person should hold with forceps and put it. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Water flush from star. Yeah. This is another piece which can be taken out uh, and sent for. Be careful. Don't lose them. Like that, uh, you can see uh, the sent for the analysis in children. All the stones must be sent for the analysis. Now, you take this piece, flush Ramushta, please. This is a demonstrative video Ramushta. Uh, this is the piece. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yes. Yes. See, this is the way you hold gently. Sometimes see see there see see there it is tight but it is distendable. This is the advantage of this stenting in children. With this we finish the case. We will inject the contrast. We will inject the contrast and see. Uh, now give me the. We will come out also. Give me the contrast. Give me the contrast. 
we will show how the contrast study looks like for academic purpose any calyx missed or not here and there uh, now upper calyx inject little bit contrast upper calyx inject little bit contrast yes injected see up see that is upper calyx now come down movements are you show the chest side by movements are you turn towards your uh, left chest then you can see the right part of the left kidney sorry left part of the left kidney if you turn the scope towards your left chest you will see the left part of the left kidney in the contrast cm that is the middle calyx now coming to the inferior calyx deep in the contrast see deep inferior calyx you can see passive movements are these are passive movements you can show these are the passive movements passive movements right that's all now we will put the stent how will you put the stent with the least cm we will show so removing the access sheet don't remove directly like this remove with a little bit of movement like this like this like this there this then it will come out so don't remove directly ureter may injure ready see this is the 3.5 french stent from the any company will produce soft and this is this is the guide wire which is 0.028 also will go 18 also will go 18 will not produce any trauma but only thing is pushing effect is less that's why ureteroscope should go into the ureteroscope should go into the water press please ureteroscope should go into the into the ureter as high as possible see no injury to the ureter so as high as possible like this as high as possible like this as high as possible like this see we are into the ureter now into the kidney see we are in the kidney so no need for the cm in this case you pass this uh, this is the only difficult part in this because it is very soft uh, if it goes easily see it is not going little bit because the guide wire cannot push through the pusher push push guide wire sometimes guide wire cannot go through the pusher so we can use the down one easily it will go these are the simple tips and tricks it will go easily because pusher will not be there so now you see there water flush water flush yeah now automatically stent has gone into the kidney see flush water automatically kidney has gone into the center so now we keep on pushing keep on pushing keep on pushing with the guide wire with the guide wire and then now uh, once it is uh, uh, stent is completely inside cm is not required it will go into the kidney only see there 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 see it has come into the end now you use the ureteroscope as the pusher ureteroscope as the pusher abutting the wall of the posterior bladder so now this stent is under 100% will be inside and the curve is seen like this rirs sheathless you see there the post stented cases you can do sheathless which is safe in children see this is a small kid around 3 years old with small external genitalia sheath passes may be difficult sometimes first we have to do is ureteroscopy it is stented already so we we can uh, and enter into the right ureteric orifice see there right ureteric orifice we are entering easily see ureter is widely dilated so what we will do is this is the ureteric dilatation water flush please this is the ureteric dilatation see this is the ureteric now we pass a guide wire uh, over that if you want you can confirm the guide wire in cm but that is also not necessary you pass the guide wire like this you go there you go uh, see it is opened up see it is opened up now you pass flush it will be transverse flush see now over the guide wire we have entered into the we have entered into the kidney this is the kidney so you please pass the guide wire there and now it is only uh, flexible ureteroscopy relook that's why we are doing without sheath now you show how to use without sheath now you, you keep it see this is a flexible scope you have to keep it straight from this side you have to keep it this straight you pass through the huge made scope the large guide wire point zero up chesa kadunda so it will go inside okay open that open that cap that is coming there white balance please that's piece that's piece 
One more person, come and take the instruments. White balance, please. Yeah. So now you are passing over the guide wire, over the guide wire under vision. No need of the CM because you can see the lumen. The wire tight, please. Tight. Wire tight. See that is important. See, can you see the lumen here? See, see. Can you see that nicely without flushing water? See, without CM over the access sheet. We pass the, we pass the pull. We pass and enter into the, enter into the kidney. Now we will take out this. There is no need for this. Now we will close this. Now now water will be on and you see there where we are. We will light weight. See this is in the kidney. Can you see that? Can you see that, Kellys? So no CM, nothing. Large guide wire. If you pass over the rigid electroscope, and this is a relook. Relook is a very short time. See here. When you want to see the right kidney, you have to go to the left ch right chest, right chest extension. All this side will be seen. See there. This is the middle calyx, and this is the middle medial calyx, middle medial calyx. You can go into it. You can go into it. And this is the inferior calyx. See, am please inferior calyx. These are the small powder. Wash please. Wash. Yeah, this is a small powder which was there. That's why you look has been done. Uh, that's all. So all the powder is washed. Can I come out? That's all. That all the powder which was there. Thank you. So the inferior calcium stone in a small child, tulium fiber laser with energy settings of 0.6 joules and uh, 0.6 hertz and one joule. Average power delivered is six watts. Energy uh, total energy is 0.83 kilojoules, and laser time is uh, 137 seconds. You imagine 137 seconds. That means two minutes uh, 17 seconds. Two minutes 17 seconds uh, in a small child uh, with smallest access sheet uh, with low power, we could remove the small stone. So it can be comparable to ESWL, even though it is uh, little more invasive than ESWL.